Rotary positive displacement pump is a pump in which a moving fluid is captured in a cavity and then discharges a fixed amount of fluid using a rotation movement. The characteristics of rotary positive displacement pump generally have a low flow rate but with a fairly high pressure requirement and can handle less clean liquids. There are seven types of rotary positive displacement pumps. The first is rotary vane pump. A rotary vane pump is a pump which the vane in the rotor groove is in contact with the pump casing. And the sucked fluid is pressed from the fluid inlet side to the fluid discharge side while the vanes rotate in the crescent cavity. The second is rotary piston pump. A piston pump is a pump that uses a number of pistons that rotate either radially or axially to pump fluid. The sucked liquid is pressed from the fluid inlet side to the fluid outlet side using a number of pistons that are pressed against the fluid. A special characteristic of the rotary axial piston pump is its ability to regulate the pump flow rate without adjusting the rotational speed of the pump. There is a governor mechanism to regulate the piston stroke in one revolution which serves to regulate the pump flow rate. The third is rotary flexible member pump. A flexible impeller pump is a type of pump design consisting of a circular rubber impeller with several flexible rubber vanes mounted in a casing. The sucked fluid is pressed from the fluid inlet side to the fluid discharge side using the pump casing which is dented while the rubber impeller rotates. A special characteristic of the flexible impeller pump is that it is able to maintain a tight seal between the impeller and the pump casing so that it has a good suction lift capability. The gentle pumping mechanism means that shear sensitive fluids can be handled without any damage caused to their structure. The examples are food products such as olives that can be squashed or cream that can become thicker when agitated. The fourth is rotary lobe pump. A rotary lobe pump is a pump that uses two or more lobes rotating around parallel shafts in the pump's body to move fluid. The sucked fluid is pressed from the fluid inlet side to the fluid discharge side using a cavity between the lobe shape and the pump casing while the lobe rotates. The fifth is the rotary gear pump. A gear pump is a pump that uses two or more gear system to move fluid. The sucked fluid is pressed from the fluid inlet side to the fluid discharge side using a cavity between two gears or the cavity between gear and the pump housing while the gears rotate. Gear pumps are only suitable for pumping clean liquids without solid particulates because the particulates in the liquid can cause wear on the gear surface of the pump. The sixth is rotary circumferential piston pump. 
shaft. A circumferential piston pumps is a pump that uses a pair of winged rotors and rotate in the pump casing to move the fluid. The sucked fluid is pressed from the fluid inlet side to the fluid outlet side using cavity between the winged rotors and the pump casing while the winged rotors rotate. The seventh is rotary screw pump. A screw pump is a pump that uses one or several screws to move fluids along the screw axis. The sucked fluid is pressed from the fluid inlet side to the fluid outlet side using cavity between the screw and the pump casing while the screw rotates. The fluid is pressed along the screw axis. The advantages of the rotary positive displacement pump compared to a dynamic pump or centrifugal pump. The rotary positive displacement pump capable of pumping viscous liquids without decreasing the pump rate. An example is using a rotary lobe pump to pump chocolate liquid. The rotary positive displacement pump capable of pumping liquids filled with solids. An example is using a rotary lobe pump to pump a liquid filled with nuts or fruits and other solid particles. The rotary positive displacement pump has constant flow rate. The flow rate is always constant as long as the drive is still strong enough. The rate is independent of the pressure on the discharge side of the pump. The rotary positive displacement pump is a self-priming pump. There is no need to fill it with liquid to start the pump. The rotary positive displacement is able to achieving the very high discharge pressures. An example is using a rotary piston pump to pump a high pressure hydraulic system. The disadvantages of rotary positive displacement pump compared to a dynamic pump or centrifugal pump. The rate of rotary positive displacement pump is fixed. The rotary positive displacement pump is difficult to handle the fluids that need to be flow controlled. The only exception is for rotary axial piston pumps. The rotary positive displacement pumps are not suitable for low viscosity liquids with low pressure and high flow rate applications. Because the flow rate is almost constant regardless of the discharge pressure. The centrifugal pump, on the other hand, will have a higher flow rate if the discharge pressure is lowered. That's all about rotary positive displacement pump. If you don't mind, like and subscribe.